Hello Virgos, I hope you're all doing good today. Oh see, your card, the Hermit wanted to pop up. Thank you for joining me for your soulmate reading. Remember, you're not going to resonate every week and that is totally fine. I am not for everyone and I am at peace with that, okay? So if it's not for you, leave it. If it if you resonate, let me know, okay? Let's see what are the energies connecting you and your soulmate right now. What is the message that Virgo need to hear? Okay, we have the emperor. I love it. Okay, so when it comes to relationship, the emperor is always looking for the empress. They are the power couple of the deck. Also, to be honest, the Emperor is, to, in my personal opinion, the most sexual card in the deck, okay? Aries is a really sexual sign. Emperor represents Aries. So you might be really attracted to someone. Uh, we'll see where this goes. We'll see if the Empress pop out. I really like that. Being uh, in your power, feel, feeling confident about a relationship. I like that. I like that energy. Let's see what it's all about. So I'm going to start and see on your soulmate side today, okay? How does Virgo soulmate feel about them? Okay. We have your energy that popped out, the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay. This might be an important message because the card literally flew out the deck. So <clears throat> this person is willing to work on the relationship. They might have been waiting uh, a long time for you. Maybe you're at distance with this person. Uh, they're confident. They want to show off, okay? The knights are a lot about the body, especially the knight of wands. Um, this person might be busy working, and I don't know why intuitively I'm feeling like there is someone who lives far from you who wants to work and put money aside to be able to travel and come see you okay so this reading is going to be really particular yeah <clears throat> this person is trying to find peace with the fact that they don't know what's happening with the future okay they don't know when they're going to be able to see you when they're going to be able to make it to you travel to you i don't know why i feel like there's something about traveling uh, maybe someone need to hear that message. The high priestess, of course, is a solitary energy. So I feel like this person isn't physically with you. It's weird. I don't know why. It's really like it, it wants to come out. Um, I like that. This person is manifesting you. They're thinking about you. Literally, when they look at the moon, they think of you. And I know it's cheesy. But this is how I feel. This person is trying to find balance in their life, with their finance, with how comfortable they are with their body. Again, there's definitely something about the body. They want to be perfect for you. Okay, let's put it this way. Let's see on your side how you feel about this person. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. So, Two of Pentacles, of course, if you literally look at the picture, you know that it's about juggling between a couple of things, between your love life, your money. Uh, you're also trying to find balance in your life. Again, I feel like I'm talking to a Virgo who is preparing to meet someone they've been talking to online or finally merge their life together with someone they love really specific again but i like that i like that i'm excited okay and also anytime you see the two of pentacle it is here to remind you to give yourself credit for the hard work you're doing remember you're doing enough i feel like you might be a little bit overwhelmed uh because there's a lot of of course, fire energy, seeing the emperor. It's like you're really attracted to this person. You want them. 
you want them close and you have to work hard you have to find balance within your life and same for them so you are both working on your side to finally meet in the middle this is it's so weird intuitively i'm really seeing a map in my head let me know in the comments below i know we're just starting but this message is meant for someone in particular okay how does virgo feel about their soulmate okay six of pentacle yeah <laughs> see an equal give and take it's like you're working hard on your side and they are working hard on their side also this is a beautiful balanced relationship you might be dealing with another earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn doesn't have to but i like that the six of pentacles is one of the card i'm most conflicted about uh in my personal practice because sometimes i hate it and sometimes i love it and here i have a beautiful feeling about it okay um <clears throat> it feels like i have to tell you intuitively Virgo, you're never going to be perfect for that person, okay? So don't drain yourself out. And I know it's like, don't tell a Virgo they're never going to be perfect. Listen, it's like you're trying to reach perfection, but it's not what's needed here. You just need to find balance and not go in excess. Um, but I like that. I like that. This is the kind of energy of two people who are like, listen, I'm here for you. Uh, we're going to do this together. I'm not giving up on you. It might not be easy. It might take longer than we think. But we're going to do that shit. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm so excited to clarify. Give me another card for Virgo. We have the Nine of Wands. So, again, there's going to be some ups and downs, okay? It's not going to be easy every day. You're going to be questioning yourself because you're intelligent. And intelligent people, they ask themselves questions, okay? This is part of being a human. This is part of, you know, experiencing these really intense feelings. Again, emperor is beautiful, but it's intense, okay? And I feel like... Virgos, you guys are so rational. You use your mind all the time, but when you fall in love and all your senses start working together, it is intense, okay? So you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit in a rush for you guys to connect and finally be together. You're like, is this, can this happen faster? I just want to physically be with them. I want to touch them. I'm literally hearing, I want to touch your skin. Listen, I know it's weird. <laughs> I'm just letting you know how, what I'm feeling intuitively. I love that. Okay, you might be dealing with a fire sign also or another earth sign. Uh, or someone who's a nerd sign but has a lot of fire in their chart. I'm feeling a Leo moon. It doesn't have to, and I don't want to focus my reading on the Zodiac. This is just not my style, but I'm just putting it out there. Okay, so let's see what is the energy that connects you two. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, guys, listen, there's something really powerful about this reading. Again, I had a feeling you would be dealing with a Leo, or maybe you both have Leo moons. I don't know. Uh, soulmate card, balanced relationship, an equal give and take, okay? Um, and if you're not interested in love, that's totally fine. Not everybody is interested in having a partner. This could be a friend that is traveling to meet you. It could be so many things. This is a soulmate reading, so I'm keeping it in the soulmate team. Listen, soulmate card in the middle, guys. This is someone worth the wait uh, you're willing to work. You know that this isn't just uh, like a fantasy or flirting. It's not just sex. This is the real freaking deal. You already fantasize about, maybe not you, I'm feeling more them intuitively. They're already fantasizing about getting married to you one day. It, you both want stable. You're not here to mess around. You're here for stability, and this person want that also. Listen, what the 
hell? I love that. I love when readings are just magical like that. Beautiful. Okay. Like, uh, again, I feel like I have to say, yes, there is a grounded love, solid stability, something about like a future solid, but listen, there's a lot of freaking attraction here. This person turns you on like on another level. Two magnets meeting in the middle. Intuitively, I don't know why. Again, I'm seeing two puzzles. Two pieces of puzzles just being like, floop. Okay, intuition is weird, guys. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Uh, let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. See, there's again something about the Leo. I'm really feeling someone has a Leo moon. Uh, or you might be dealing with a Leo. But the strength card is a lot about being aware of the things that you don't like about yourself, the things that aren't really working about you, and you're willing to control them, to change them for your greater good, and also for this person to feel more at peace, more balanced with you. Uh, and we have eight here, eight here. Uh, also, the infinite symbol to me is a lot about eight. Eight is transformation, okay? So this is the kind of love that will transform your life forever. Your family will love this person. Your friends will love this person. This is a forever type of deal, and I don't use the word forever lightly, guys. Okay, Knight of Wands. you it's so weird i'm hearing honestly i meditated under the sun okay before doing that reading and i'm always trying to stay super rational especially with you virgos you guys are, are my favorite i tell you all the time but I, I, i'm hearing so many intuitive message i'm hearing we are so lucky to have each other and i'm hearing you're so lucky that i love you i don't know why but listen it feels like it's a joke and see Virgo energy. This is so Virgo to say like the person I love is lucky that I choose I chose them. I'm smiling right now. So Virgo energy, working on your abundance, having enough money to take care of this person, take care of their needs. Uh they're independent. Definitely you're dealing with an independent person, but it's like you just want to be comfortable. You want them to feel comfortable, especially if they're the one coming into your life. It could be vice versa. But I do feel like there's someone traveling to meet the other person. Again, beautiful balanced relationship of two people be, being really independent, but together. Respecting each other's boundaries, respecting each other's dreams. You're like, I want you to thrive for your goal. I want you to get that cash. I want you to focus on your career and business. I am not desperate for attention because I know deep down, I know with all my heart that you love me as much as I love you. Let's clarify the high priestess. You should see me, guys. I am smiling like a crazy person. Okay, high priestess. Ah, I love that. Eight of Wands communication card, but also this is Cupid's arrow. The attraction between you guys is just unreal. Okay, let's be honest. It's like you see this person, they are the whole package. This person is just everything you want. They're stable. They know how to communicate. They don't get offended when you tell them how you feel. I'm feeling intuitively that this is the kind of person that you can finally be yourself with. They love you just like you are. And even if in some past relationship, your ex or, you know, your friends, your family told you many times, you're going to have to change that, change that shit about you because no one is going to deal with that. You're like, well, you know what? I found someone who wants to deal with my bullshit. I found someone who loved me just like I am. I love that. Let's clarify the two of pentacles on your side. The justice. Okay, again, balance. There's really something about balance. Maybe you are trying to... Uh, of course, this is Venus rule, so a lot about love. 
again, I think you're already thinking about maybe marrying this person one day, building a house, building a family, uh, justice card. It could be about, you know, getting married and all that jazz. To me, it's, it's just a love card of finding balance. It is someone who wants to be perfect for the person they love. So let's, let me give you an example, okay? And take it as it resonates. You drink a lot, you smoke cigarette, I don't know, you smoke weed, whatever you do. And you know, it's a little bit intense, like you do it a lot and it might be a problem for you or for the people around you, okay? And you're, you're not going to wait for this person to tell you like, hey, you smoke too much, I don't like it. Or anyway, they love you just like you are. But you want to get better for that person. There's something intuitively, it's like, I want to grow old with you, so I'm going to take care of my health. I don't know why. Another intuitive message that just pops out of my head is so weird. The High Priestess. Second time. They have it on their side. You have it on your side. Exactly confirming everything I said. This is the kind of energy where you can both be yourself. You're not going to change yourself for this person. And they don't need to change. You want them just like they are. And they want you just like you are. And also, my God, I'm lost for words. I'm obsessed. You guys... Um, you could be dealing with a really, really intuitive person, someone who knows how to communicate. I'm feeling maybe a Taurus because throat chakra, you know, Taurus knows how to communicate. And I feel like they will bring out of you your intuition, your intuitive side. I think you know it, but I don't feel like you share it as much as they do. And they're going to be Helping you uh, get more in tune with your intuition, let's say. Yeah. I like that. Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords. So again, the Nine of Wands, it was more about, you know, feeling a little bit stressed. Is everything going to be perfect? Am I ready to start this? You know. Being a human and asking yourself question, and the Ten of Swords to me is everything is going to be fine, okay? You are in your head a lot. You are a human. It's okay to be stressed once in a while. It's okay to be a little bit overwhelmed by all this because this is big. And I feel like you're going to finally get released. And the moment that you guys are finally meeting or finally getting together and the past is in the past, you're going to feel so much release. You're going to be starting a brand new cycle, an important one in love and finally being with your soulmate. I am obsessed with that reading. Okay, let me pick an angel message on their side. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this person... They want to be good for you. In the beginning, I said they want to be perfect for you. No one's perfect, okay? But they just know that you deserve the type of person who heal their past. They don't want to bring unfinished business into the relationship. This is someone who is really mature emotionally. And you are inspired by that. If you're, I don't know, I feel like I have to say that if you're an artist... This person will be your muse. They will inspire you in your art. And if you're not an artist, I'm sure you are, even if you don't give yourself credit for it. They're going to be impacting your work in a positive way because they're going to give you a lot of self-confidence. They're going to bring you a lot of emotional intelligence. Even if you already have that, this, is, this person is on another level. Okay. And let's see, on your side, Virgo, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. I'm not even going to elaborate on that. Let that sink in, okay? This message, I know, I know it's for someone in particular. I feel it. If it connects with only one person, I am at peace with that. Beautiful reading. Listen, Virgo. I think they are worth the wait. 
if you guys aren't living together, if you guys are living at distance, take it easy. Remember, it's okay to ask yourself questions. You're intelligent. It's okay to doubt yourself once in a while. It doesn't mean that you're going to fuck this all up. This is beautiful. The soulmate card in the middle. Beautiful communication, balanced relationship. This person, like sexuality and attraction is just something else with that person. You're rediscovering yourself. You want to be good for them. You want to work hard. You want to create a solid life. Listen, this is beautiful energy. Virgo, thank you so much for being here with me. No worries. I'll be back in a couple of days with the regular weekly. But this is soulmate. So of course, focus on love. Uh, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. I think we're already at 11.5 the moment I'm recording that. Crazy. I am grateful for you guys since the beginning. You were my first sign who uh, got a lot of views on my channel. And I will always, always say that you are my favorite because it's true. Okay, Virgo, I'll talk to you guys soon. And until then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.